Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? On this channel, we upload one beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece a week. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I'm just going to be venting at you a little bit. And hopefully in my venting, what happens is I either have a little bit of a revelation for myself or you guys in the comments um, with whatever you respond to my venting helps me have a revelatory moment about what it is I'm doing with all this dog hair all over me. No, about what it is I'm doing with this channel and uh, what it is I'm doing wrong versus what it is I could be doing better and more correctly in not just being true to the channel that I've been creating for the past eight years, but also just doing it in a way that creates the channel success and the channel continues to succeed and, and do better and not die. Um, because after last weekend's video's performance, this last Saturday, the video I uploaded there, it was horrible. The, 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 it was horrible. Um, like the, the amount of reach that it ended up having which is unfortunate, and it's a theme sometimes on this channel. And there's a number of reasons that I think it is, and, and I'll explain those, and maybe you can give me some insight back as to what you think. Um, but so the reach it got was like half a percent of my total subscriber base. So it's like we, you know, we got a little over 40,000 subscribers. The video by the end of the day had 200 views, which if you know, I had a channel with like, you know, however many subscribers, you know, 500 subscribers or a thousand, even a thousand subscribers or even like 10,000 subscribers, 200 wouldn't be too bad. But with 40,000 subscribers, that number just ends up being like half a percent if I, if my math is correct, which is insanely low. And there are a number of factors that I think that that could be, you know, it, a, it's the holiday season and people maybe aren't watching YouTube enough, which is great because I think you should be spending time with, with family and preparing for things like that and, and, and just in general. But but also my thumbnail maybe sucked and my, my title maybe sucked or just what weren't intriguing enough. Not that they sucked, but they just weren't intriguing enough to where you were like, oh, I, I want to see what's going on with this video, even if you're a subscriber. And it seems from studying my own channel and the analytics, the videos that do the best on my channel are the ones where I just don't edit it and am just honest and have my strong opinions about hard topics, things that are hard to talk about. And I don't really like doing that all that much, but I, in, in keeping an honest channel with honest content, I do do that um, whenever I feel it's time or whenever there's something that I feel strongly enough about to, to do that. And those videos seem to do the best and that's good and bad because I do enjoy making those videos in the sense that I think that my opinions are valid because they're mine. And a lot of times it seems when I share those opinions that it, they help encourage people and inspire people. So that's good. And I, I like that, but I don't really like making videos where I'm talking about hard things because they're hard. And as a human, uh, sometimes I'm lazy and I want things to be easy. <laughs> <clears throat> which goes to the other reason that I'm so bummed that last video that I uploaded didn't do hardly, it was the worst video as far as views, like in the entire, in, in years, I think, because I put a lot of hard work in. It wasn't easy. I like, I put a lot of hard work into that video. And the message there was like one of hope and, and not, not just hope, not even really hope, but just like, just being like, kind, <laughs> which doesn't seem to get a lot of traction on the internet, which I get. And I am also guilty of helping attribute to, or, or, or in, uh, I'm part of that problem in, in that, like when I'm watching content on YouTube, often the stuff that I watch is not just like, oh, kindness. <laughs> it's, I'm looking at like train wrecks and like, those are the things that like grab my attention, not actual train wrecks, but proverbial or uh, uh, metaphorical train wrecks, you know, just like, whoa, that looks bad. <laughs> Let me see what's going on there. I mean, I do, like, I watch true crime stuff and, and other things like that that are just like, that's not good. You know, like, ultimately, if you look at it, it's pretty bad stuff. So I'm part of the problem. And it's just 
human nature, and I've talked about this before on the channel, I think it seems to just be human nature more attracted to things that are like, ooh, that looks hard, or that looks like it's there's there's pain and suffering there, and, and maybe it's because we all have our own little pain and suffering that we're dealing with, and we're we're hoping for some kind of relief from that. And we we're hoping maybe if we click on a video like that, that we're going to see either somebody to commiserate with or potentially offer up some kind of solution to our pain and suffering. Either way, um, I don't know where I got this shirt and I just wanted to thank the person that gave it to me. I don't know where we met or where this shirt came from, but somebody obviously gave it to me and There, go scan that, because someone was kind enough to just give me this shirt, and it's actually pretty comfy. And I like that it says angels on it. Armless angels. Go check them out on Morph Market. And speaking of Morph Market, I will be this weekend finally revealing that, that video I've been working on for a long time to you guys this weekend. So hopefully that video gets more than 200 views. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't like complaining about that, because... I've I heard of the uh, um, statistic recently that the majority of videos that get uploaded to YouTube get less than a hundred views. As far as like the the bulk of videos that are uploaded to YouTube, which is an insane amount of videos these days, they all get less than a hundred views for the most part. So if your video gets more than a hundred views, you should be encouraged by it. And that does make sense if you're just uploading like your first video to YouTube. <laughs> but if you've been uploading videos to YouTube for eight years and are used to getting quite a large number, larger number of views, which is what has built this channel to be a success as far as like working with different partners and, and brand deals and, and that stuff, then when you, when you get a video that has what I call only 200 views, it's pretty disappointing, obviously, because I'm making a whole video talking about it. And I just wish for all of us people that we were more attracted to things that that were good instead of like being enticed to click on things because they look like train wrecks. And maybe I'll change the thumbnail and title to seem more train wrecky, but there was really nothing train wrecky in the video except for me crashing my vehicle into trash cans. So maybe I could, I, but that's that was just a small part of the video though. That wasn't the bulk of the videos and I don't like to be so clickbaity that it's just like, you know, the part that is there is literally like, you know, 10 seconds of the video. And then the rest of it is not me crashing my car into a garbage can. Anyway, that's my venting for this morning. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm not feeling bad necessarily. I, I am still disappointed in the performance of the last video, but I'll get over it very quickly, and it'll be fine, and we'll move forward, but um, I would love, again, your feedback and thoughts about just all this. Oh, the the other factor is, you know, kids, kids on YouTube, um, and they were, they've been a huge part of my channel. Oh, and I also want to take accountability for another part of the thing, which is my inconsistency with the channel, but kids, you know, there was a moment four or five years back where YouTube decided they were going to take action with kids in videos and try to protect the, the, the kids from harmful people on the internet, which makes sense in theory, but it, nobody is harming my kids through the internet because they're on a video. You know, they don't read the comments and I, I don't know. I just, I didn't like that, but I didn't stop keeping my kids in the channel because they're a huge part of why I do the channel to create family memories and like be able to look back and see these guys growing up over the years and having their little moments. And I pulled back a bit from having them on as much. And I think part of that was because I know YouTube is like throttling down when there's kids in videos, which is unfortunate because I really like having my kids in the videos. But and I still do it, and that's why I still do it. It wasn't enough. I was like, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to keep doing it, which seems to be sometimes to my detriment as far as channel performance. So. The other thing is, when I first started this channel, I was doing it as a daily vlog, and I was uploading every single day, and then I got in a car wreck, and I was in a lot of pain, and so I didn't upload. I could have probably, I could have just laid there in pain and just uploaded a video and be like, yep, today sucks again, but I didn't, and and then I just, sometimes my content is all over the place, because it's just whatever's going on in my life, or whatever I'm feeling like in the moment, like whether I'm making a video about how to cut a pineapple, which was a video, or a video about whatever it is that comes across my heart to share. So that's inconsistent in nature and 
YouTube channels don't generally perform well using that metric. Usually you want to stick to like a specific subject. Um, and the only thing that's consistent about my channel is that I'm in every single video. Other than that, it's, it's pretty all over the place. So I will take responsibility for that and, and not blame it entirely on like outside sources causing things to not perform well, but uh, half a percent of the viewership. And it's just ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's it for me today, guys. I'm done venting. Leave me your comments and, uh, and we'll just move forward from there. You guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.